plant of the week this week. Again, we've kind of been talking about planting trees and shrubs, so we've been recommending some nice shrubbery to plant. This one is the Mugo Pine. Good, that's a good evergreen. That, it's really pretty and it's, it's a nice specimen. Lots of different sizes. And it comes in small, round, larger. Poodle size, poodle, poodle. shaped, uh, different sizes, you know, different balls. Poodle, no. No, poodle you don't like that kind of shape. <laughs> But now mugo pine's a, a good kind of a, a a plant to put in our in our in our beds to kind of anchor everything. Right. And uh, yeah, they'll last, you know, 10, 10 15, 20 years. Uh, they do do quite well. Um, they don't grow real fast, right? They're, they're kind of a slow grower. They're not right. going to be a fast grower. But uh, again, shapes, sizes, all kinds out there in the nursery. It's it's winter time, so it's a good time to be planting these. Right. Um, you can usually find them on sale uh, in nurseries that that work pretty good. Your favorite nursery should have them. Um, put them in the ground. It sh it should work pretty well. Well, they, and they're pretty forgiving. They they accept, they grow well in a wide variety of pHs for the soil. Mm -hmm. Full sun. I mean, they need full they sun. They do need full sun, yeah, yeah. and they're pretty drought resistant. I mean, you know, in Oklahoma, we've got like it's either feast wet or, or famine, wet or dry, you know, like it, but, yeah. they, but they don't have. To, they'll get by with a little bit of water. They can tolerate it. Um, like any pines, if they stay wet too long, if we if we put them in the wrong place, maybe we have a wet area from our irrigation uh, system that maybe leaks. Yeah. That can take them out. So we got to be careful about that. But for the most part, a lot of, you know, they, they can range from dry to, to wetter soils to, you know, you know, they need full sun. That, that, that statement was definitely true. But, you know, one thing we do wrong with, with pines or evergreens, we, tr we, we try to go in and prune too much. Mm. Say this thing has got a little out of hand, so we want to go in and prune like we normally do with our deciduous or our shrubs. And they don't, they don't take a pruning very well. How we control the size is when in the springtime when they have the new growth, we call those candles. candles. When those candles kind of start shooting out, we can go in and pinch those candles back and that'll help kind of control that size to the way it was uh, the right. previous year. So um, as the candles happen in the spring, pinch them back, that should help us uh, control a little bit of the height. Right. Don't go in and start pruning because they won't ever pull out, it won't ever look normal. So we've got to control those by controlling those candles, getting getting a size in there. And I guess if you want to check one out and get an example, we've got a couple in our demonstration garden here at the extension. Yeah, we got, we've, we've kind of, one of them's kind of got out of hand and we're just kind of pulling it back in a little bit, but um, the other one really looks good too. It's a taller one that uh, we've kind of got uh, rounded off. And it, right. it, again, good solid ones. They've been there 10 years plus and, and uh, not a lot of, you know, it, uh, not a lot of issues with it. All right, so good plant. Yep, go check it out, favorite nursery.